All right, we're gonna get a weight on this one. Zero, zero. I guess it's like mm. four something. There's three. It's skinny, it's just long. Yeah, three pounder. Three pounder. It's a long skinny fish. I think it's already spawned out. Last weekend we came here and fished were on beds and we hadn't seen them on beds this time, but uh, the water, the water level's gone up a good bit. So we're thinking, you know, might have pushed them off those beds, but it's a good fish, long skinny fish, get a release on it. What's up guys, welcome back to Gonzo Outdoors. So it's about, uh, let's see what time it is. It's about 10.45 right now. We actually got out here before seven. So we've been out here for a good while. We came to try to catch topwater fish. David's never caught a topwater bass before, anything on topwater. And his personal best largemouth bass is only like two and a half pounds. So uh, we came here and thoughts, you know, of maybe trying to break that and see what happens. But uh, the first pond we tried, you know, we didn't have any luck. I think David caught a cichlid, but it wasn't on a um, topwater lure. And uh, so we came across the street and there's a pond that has a bunch of lily pads. The sun finally started to peak out and I told David, you know, we need to throw frogs. And I actually hooked up to that four pounder that you guys will see here. Still trying to get David his personal best bass. Stick tight, we'll see what happens. We got permission though. There's another one. Nice. Oh, another good one, dude. In the reeds. Come on. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Heck yeah. Got that one on film. Get that frog out there. This would be your PV too. It's like two and a half probably. All right, well, we came back in the same spot where I just caught that other one, right in the same exact spot in these lily pads. I'm back with David with Fishing Frenzy, and his PB for largemouth bass is like a two and a half. So the past two that I've caught would be his PB. We're trying to put him on his PB. He has a frog on now too, so we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna get another weight on this one. Other one was three. This one's probably two, two and a quarter, two, 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 almost two and a quarter. It's a good fish though. Let's get a release on this one. All right, I'm gonna throw it right on your frog. Put your frog out, I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> it's only, it's, this ain't two and a half, so this wouldn't be your PB. Second one of the day, see if we can get some more on these lily pads. Woo, thanks dude, just soaked me. <laughs> Oh gosh. He missed it. He missed it. Throw back over there. Oh, he missed it again. What the heck? What the heck? Same exact spot. How did he miss it twice? Oh, 
Oh, I got him this time. Third time's a charm, baby. No, it came off. No, it came off. What the heck? I spoke too soon. Dang it. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. Three times he hit it. What the heck? There's a fish right here. I see it. Looks like a nice one. It's kind of suspended down though. I don't know if it'll hit this top water. Oh, I got a Sanko right here. Oh, he got it. He got it. Let's go, dude. I was just gonna throw that Senko, but I threw that frog and he hit it. He went up and hit it. I think he came through that drainage pipe. Nice. Yo! <laughs> He's still, the frog. He still has not caught one yet, man. I want him to catch one. This is probably about a pound and a half. Another good one, but it was right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's right there is a drainage pipe and it connects to that pond back behind us. And I think he just swam right through. And I saw him and he kind of swam off. That's when I said I was gonna get the Senko and then I just threw it right, basically right there and it was just slow twitching it. And he came up and hit it, that was so cool. Whew, release on this one. There it goes. He probably won't bite a frog again. <laughs> he might. Well guys, I think we're calling it a day. David's got a job interview and I got something I gotta attend to as well. But uh what happened today, dude? Uh we started we did the wrong thing. We started at the big pond first and we should have just came here. So yeah, it was a good day, you know. Like I said, we came over here, I hooked up to a couple, and David had a couple bite, but he just could not connect on it. He's still trying to chase his first ever largemouth bass that'll be over two and a half pounds, trying to break his PB, and also trying to get his first ever topwater bite. So next time we come here, we said that we're gonna come to this pond first, not waste our time over at the other pond, and hopefully we'll hook up. So had a good day, you know, a little bit slow until we came over here. You know, we wasted a couple hours over on that pond, but hey, that's how fishing is. You gotta figure them out. So next time we come, we're gonna be throwing those right there. And uh, hopefully we can hook up to more fish. There's some really good fish in here. And as you guys can see from the video, I know I caught some real good ones. So thank you guys for tuning in to Gonzo Outdoors. If you guys like these topwater videos, you know, drop a comment below, smash that like button so we can know what you guys want to see. I mean, we can do the shiners, we can do topwaters. I mean, Florida is just all kinds of fishing, you know, all kinds of species hit all kinds of lures and bait. So you guys let me know what you guys want to see. And hopefully we can keep on giving you guys videos that you know, applies to y'all and hopefully can give you a few tips along the way. So like I said, thanks for tuning in to Gonzo Outdoors. We'll see you guys next time on the water.